Hi everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. So today's tool review is about the new mini laser square from We Are Memory Keepers. And they launched a larger version of this earlier in the year. I looked at it in a lot of the big box stores. It's like, eh, it's a bit of a high price point. However, they released this smaller one, which is a much nicer size for us card makers, for fitting in your storage and your table and things. The other one's great, I think, if you're a scrapbooker, but it's gonna function exactly the same way as this, but I like the smaller footprint of this one here. Um, and I haven't used it yet. All I did was I popped the battery in earlier because I found out we need nine volts, so we went and grabbed one. Um, but what you do is you just press on over here and you can see that my laser is already pointing that way. However, if you notice, if you, it's up here like this, you'll notice that it's a little bit skew width but you can just kind of tune it and put it along the grid line and then you know it's in the right place. Now it has inches and centimeters on your laser side. So wherever you are, you are covered. And I'm gonna show you a couple of different ideas with it. Now your laser line is right here. You can see it under my finger. It gets a little bit lighter at this end, but I can still definitely see it when I'm using it. Okay, so you might want to do it if you're stamping freehand. So perhaps you are a piece of cardstock and what I'm going to grab is a piece of sticky grid because you all know I love my sticky grid so I'm going to pop this down like this it'd be really nice if this base was magnetic but I don't think it is I'm just looking at the um, base there but it does have a little L bracket in the corner so you can make sure your cardstock is straight. And I can see my laser level straight because it's also on my sticky grid. And that's just gonna hold my paper in place which is one of the things that I really like to do. Now I'm going to just pick up a stamp, Let's see if I've got a larger block on my draw here. And what I want to show you is the idea, I do not, so I'm just going to wing it with this one and just use this end here. Let's just use deepest sympathy. And so I'm going to stamp like this. And then the thing I can do is I can position this to stamp straight. So I'm just going over the top, excuse my head for a second. We'll go underneath just because of where my block is. I'm going to just move my paper a little bit. I'm just doing a quick rejig just based on where I want everything to be. Down to here and put my cardstock back on. So let's try that one again. So I'm going to just line up the top of my word. It's a little bit tricky, but it's pretty straight. You can see that my deepest goes all the way along and my sympathy also rides at the top of that laser line. So that's one thing you can do with it. I'm gonna move my laser line down a little bit like this, a bit further, like so. And the other thing you can do is you can write on it. Now as a lefty, it's gonna be harder than doing it right-handed, but if for instance, you wanted to write, if you're anything like me, you will struggle to write envelopes and anything straight. But just by having that line there, I can go along that line. You can see on my finger where that line would be. So you can just about see it on the camera. But in um, in real life here, it's pretty bright. I can see it all the way along to this side of my cardstock. The other thing that it's great for is layering. So let's go down. I'm gonna actually just make sure my laser's nice and straight for this one. I don't like that wiggle room in it. I wish it was a little bit more firm, but it's easy enough to line up on the grid line like that. And I'm gonna pop my cardstock over like this. And of course, pop my lid on because you know I'm the person who would make a terrible mess. And I'm gonna take another piece of contrasting cardstock. I'm just gonna add some double-sided tape on it. And of course, the great thing about this is I can line it up perfectly. So you can see it's really nice and straight. It'd be great if you're doing matting and things. The thing that would be nice is to have a, a laser going in the opposite direction. I'm not sure if the bigger one does that, um, but I do like the idea that it does help you get things really nice and straight. And I know lots of crafters like things super, super straight. So I think that's the thing that it's best at. And you can see there how easy that was to do that. A piece of sticky grid in the bottom to hold your cardstock in place is probably a really good idea. And again, we'll add links to everything in the bottom there for you as well. Um, so 
hit or miss. I guess it's kind of in between. Would I use it a huge amount? Probably not. Um, is it great if you like things really straight or you want to write things straight? Yes, absolutely. Um, but I do think it'd be nice if we had a laser going that way and then you could have perfectly straight matting. That would be really, really nice. So there's my two cents on that one. As I always say, you know, you might have different opinions. You might like something differently. They are, you know, you might see this and think this is the best tool ever. So we like to do honest reviews. As I say, I bought it my own money so you can make your own decisions. We'll add links in the description below. And if not, I will see you tomorrow with another tip trick tutorial or maybe something a little bit different. So in the meantime, happy crafting and I'll see you then. Bye.